What's up, Renegade Nation? Before we begin the video, I'd like to give a shout out to our most recent Patreon supporters and YouTube members. Silverstorm Forge, Marvin Glassburn, Charday Raider, Sushi Overdose, Saren G. Tiso, Data, Big Geek, Strictly Psycho, Barnard Maddox, Logan Moreau, Eric Smith, Ellie B, Ultra Chara, Amory Dunlap, Joshua Selbishka, Randy Cheney, Fall of Man 20, Sec Clark, Neck, Anthony Greisel, Garrett McKinney, Miss Chris, Arnold, Richard Black, Mr. Happy, Marshall Selden, Tack Cap, Grace Shield, and as always, I'd like to give a big shout out to our executive producers, Joshua Fix, The Gimster 101, Bevan Brummett, and welcome our new executive producer, Vincenzo. Thank you all very much for your support. If you wish to become a YouTube member, click the join button, which is down by the subscribe button down below. And if you wish to check out our Patreon, feel free to click the link down below in the description to find out more. We'll see you there. Oops. <laughs> well, there goes the power. Uh, yeah. All right, open the door. Crack open some more of these. I just hate boxes. Boxes killed my parents. I'm going to be honest. It depends on which Star Wars Battlefront 2 they're talking about here. If they're talking about, like, <clears throat> old school Battlefront 2, I'm like, all right, nice. That's That's cool. But if they're talking about New Battlefront 2, I'm just like, um, not the best launch, but from what everyone has said, it's actually become a pretty good game. I mean, that's the thing. I mean, it took EA literally, like, shitting the bed so hard that everything that they were trying to accomplish collapsed onto itself like a gigantic singularity. <clears throat> I mean, when you shit the bed that hard... To the point where you have the most disliked comment in the history of Reddit. That's that's pretty horrific. <clears throat> and I'm not gonna and I'm not gonna sit here and pretend like, oh, you know, it's like, oh, we all saw this coming. No. Some of us some some people had hope. Me, I was just like, I'm gonna wait and see how you know how the how things go on release. And it did One not of disappoint. The things about it was that they had already made one <clears throat> to a resounding go fuck Man. yourself for most of the fans because of the way that they did pay to win loot and shit. <sighs> and then everybody was like, surely, surely they learned their lesson and they wouldn't just release the next one and do the same exact bullshit. Yeah, about that. But guess what they did? Yeah. They released the next <laughs> one. They did the same exact bullshit. Ain't that something? I mean, holy shit. And it was like, I remember I checked it out from uh, Redbox just to see and look at it and stuff, you know. And uh, I had checked it out on the week that everybody was like, oh, they removed the loot boxes. They removed the loot boxes. And it was during a holiday season, right before a holiday season, leading up to mm -hmm. Christmas, you know. And I look in the game <clears throat> and removed loot boxes was not removing loot boxes. They were still fucking there. It was just locked down for the moment. They were still in the goddamn game. Oh yeah, they were just waiting. Out. They were just waiting like, until they like, are the... literally waiting until after the holiday season, after everybody gets this game and they've made their fucking money and shit. And then they're gonna put them right back in. Guess what they fucking did? They put them right back in. And then finally, everybody was like, "Go fuck yourself!" Loud enough for them to finally take them back out completely. Apparently. Oh, and then not only that—that's what I heard, but, anyways. That's well, how I even looked at it since then. But yeah, that yeah. really got me. I was like, I see exactly what they're doing, and I was like, Are people really too blind to see exactly what they're doing here? And they did exactly that. Yeah. And like, it, they didn't have them back in very long. A lot of people even missed it because it was a resounding <laughs> "Go fuck yourself" from everyone. And they put well, back in. <laughs> it was a huge "Go fuck yourself" for me. But not only that, but also. Uh, after the game was out for about, I'd say, a year, and, I, and even when it was what released, it was buggy as hell. The servers were trash. Like, there was a lot of problems with the game outside of just the loot boxes. Mm -hmm. But then, over time, <clears throat> DICE kept working on the game. And I did really enjoy the single-player campaign, which a lot of people said they didn't like it, but I thought it was uh, Single-player campaign so was a was missed opportunity. That was the main opportunity. reason I actually checked it out, and... 
Like I was just like, this was pretty fun. I like. Well, it. I'll at least admit it was better than what they had in the in Battlefield One, and mm. what they, what they had in the first or in the the first Battlefront. Yeah. And I'll say this: Battlefront, uh, Battlefront Two's single player thing, interesting, but eh, it, it missed opportunity. Much like Finn's story in the new Star or the new Star Wars uh, trilogy. Um. I oh. guess for someone who just checked it out from Redbox and played through it, it was easier to like it. Whereas, like someone if who I had bought paid it sixty dollars for it, I might have been like, "Yeah, it's kind of disappointing that he's short and shit." Well, yeah, and in all honesty, I mean, I I played the game a little bit later, but eh, it still to me was not the best. But from what everyone was saying, about two years after it was released. They had pretty much worked the game into something amazing. And a lot of the player base came back. And I guess credit dice like for recently falling through it. I for free, so I feel like I have it now. I just haven't ever felt like... Oh, game. same, dude. Same. I mean, I think they gave it away on the EA, uh, on the Origin Store. And, well, I'll say this. It, if it's interesting enough, maybe, maybe I'll play it one day, but... I don't know. I'm still waiting for EA EA's like stank to like waft away a go bit. away off of the Star Wars franchise because yeah, I'd say surprisingly like they've been EA has been a lot less shitty in recent like the recent like past year at least like to maybe like a little longer than they used to be and there are actually a lot of other game companies publishers mostly like you know they're actually kind of like outshining EA's scumbagginess. <clears throat> well, it's just EA has been that that entity for so long. It's hard for me to trust anything they got going on. For instance, I'm uh, sure everybody's like that. Well, though. well, for instance, with with Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order, which oh, by the way, you know, for you smart marks out there, I know respawns the one that I have said this before a thousand times. I know. Respawn are the people who developed that game. Stig Asmussen. I'm not a fucking retard. We're not talking about developers. We're talking about publishers. Hey, hey, well, and that's the thing. When you say, oh, EA, when they published this game, all of a sudden people are just like, oh, they didn't develop the game. What are you talking about? Oh, I'm smarter than you. Oh, my gosh, I'm so much smarter than you. Yeah, right. Hindsight's 2020, and you always have carte blanche in the fucking... You literally you, sound like an idiot if you start saying Yeah, you, you literally... You, you, you don't oh, even understand the You have carte blanche in the now. fucking comment section because you got 2020 hindsight. Congratulations, you're the smartest person on planet fucking Earth. We're fucking Here, aware. accept your fucking award and get the fuck out. We're fucking God aware of how publishing as opposed to developing works, and that's why we're fucking aware that publishers fuck things up most of the time. Publishers do fuck things up, and I was afraid they were going to fuck up Respawn's work and Stig Asmussen and his team at Respawn's work up. And thankfully, they didn't. Thankfully, EA kept their nose out of it and just allowed them to tell a good single player story. That's and it's the know. most successful Star Wars game yeah. in what, 20 years? That's the thing, is like most of the time, if publishers just step <clears throat> the fuck back and let dev studios that are known to be good do their magic, like you get a good product. And you're yeah. Making money. And, and, and we, we had a conversation about like good publishers like on our Discord recently, mm -hmm. and everyone was struggling to come up with like publishers that actually like weren't scumbaggy and actually like consistently published games that turned out well. And I'm pretty sure that most people came to the conclusion alongside me that Devolver Digital is like the greatest publisher out right now. I would say so. I would say in terms of like pure publishing, Devolver is probably the best one out there. They just consistently publish really good games like by different yeah. people. Like a, a whole lot of the my favorite games as of recently like are Devolver Digital published. And in all honesty, I I hope they can keep that up. Yeah. I and I hope that they get keep popular just enough. Looking for really good ideas, giving them the money and letting them do their work. Like And honestly, I hope that they are they get big enough to where they can literally cock slap EA out of existence. Even if they are like, you know, inserting their own ideas and stuff into these games, hopefully they stay as good as they have been. You know? Well, like, if they do, I think they seek quality of life improvements in the game rather than like scummy practices of like, oh, we need to, you know, make the game more grindy, therefore you can insert loot boxes in yeah. <clears throat> Anthem. <clears throat> oh god, oh oh god, I'm sorry about that. Like, what about what if uh, we chop it all up and sell the full game in like nineteen different pieces? Activision, Bungie like now 
separated from them and was like, hey, why don't we keep doing that? <laughs> God. And I had hopes for Bungie when they started self-publishing. Yeah. I had such high it, hopes. It, it was sad to see that, like, oh, like they're like, we're breaking off from Activision. I was like, Destiny could get really, really good. And I remember you and were excited. And then the two expansion reviews <laughs> after they separated were just... <laughs> They fucked it all up. <laughs> God, dude. Like, God damn it. It's like it wasn't it, just Activision and Bungie. No, Bungie's but, disconnected as well. But yeah, and that's unfortunate because everyone, you know, Bungie was one of their heroes because hey, they gave us the Halo franchise, they gave us Destiny, and they were being held back by Activision. Then they it's got it's out from out. under Activision, and then Bungie was just like, let's do the exact same shit. That people were pissed off about and were blaming Activision but for, worse. and Let's show them what we're doing. Yeah, and show them that we're actually the ones doing this. <laughs> Good God! Anyway, um, Russian Badger, he uh, is back once again, and he is playing that Star Wars Battlefront Two. I don't know which one yet, but that's the new one. I guarantee it. Probably Space Vietnam with bears and lasers. Space he Vietnam. likes to play with his crew. Space I don't Vietnam. think he can play with his crew on. The you game. can, you can, yeah, you can, you well, can play old Battlefront Two. It's like a PlayStation Two game, right? No, they've got it available on Steam. Oh, really? Yeah. And you can play it online. Mm-hmm. Oh shit. Oh yeah. Hmm. I've, I mean, I've seen it. I, I saw Achievement Hunter do it a long time ago, and I've seen other people do it. I mean, and a lot of people like it. I mean, I, I bet you that'll be the way I can get my buddy Chance to finally get a PC. Ah. So I'm like, you know, if you get a PC, we can play Star Wars Battlefront 2 online now. Me and Andrew. He's like, why the fuck would I want to play we'll the like, new one? I'll be like, oh no, the old one. I'll probably be like, bet. Right. He'll probably be like, Pika? Probably tell his Surprise Pika be like, face. Yeah, uh, we need to save some money up this month. We're not going to do anything stupid with the money. We'll get a <laughs> PC phone. Yeah, exactly. God, wouldn't that be something? Yeah. Finally getting you and your boy on, uh, on a game together. As long as he doesn't just buy the PC, he says he'll play and then doesn't get online ever. Like, so that's also a thing. Yeah. <sighs> yeah. All right. Yeah, even when he has stuff, he could play with me and doesn't get on it. Space Vietnam with bears and lasers. Let's get to it. Let's see what happens. Very nice. Wait a second. Aren't these videos supposed to be funny? I thought this was going to be funny. <laughs> I just murdered my son. Imagine you died to Ray, that's kind of cringe. Hey, aren't you gonna come out here? That's a weird way of spelling liberators at the top of your screen. Do you want to feel pain? God, I hope so. Yes, we got him! Damn. Damn. Ewok victory. Who would win? An empire with a nearly bottomless Graphically, this looks a lot like the new one to me. It is. It is. It's the new one. It's Kylo Man! Oh, God! Welcome to Star Wars Battlefront 2, a franchise that my buddies and I should definitely not have access to. You're knee deep in the Ho Chi Minh Trail in a fucking teddy bear from a jar of fireflies. <laughs> so if Bob Iger bans my ass into outer space within 48 hours of uploading this video, I wouldn't be surprised. Understand that. May God have mercy upon your wretched soul. So, while I'm still here, I'd love to tell you about it. Because it's a fucking blast if you're looking for non-stop brainless fun. Oh god, he's foreshoking me! No! No! <laughs> Imagine being that much of a shit or as Darth Vader that you have to force choke a fucking Ewok. <laughs> 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 you see the tax on your receipt at build a bear. Now, oh god! If you're looking for a well-balanced competitive shooter with a vibrant player base, you should definitely run in the opposite direction. The kids would hashtag that 100. Because it's over three years old and the pay win loot boxes that boss the launch in 2017 team meant the majority of players left it behind and never came back. Even yeah. after adding content and getting rid of the loot boxes altogether. In our new update, we worked hard on all of this content. First, we're like, yeah, game well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, pretty much. In a factual, yeah. this is something that happened type way. Not a judgmental type way. Because as much as I love to call EA sellout pieces of shit, I'm a sellout piece of shit. I'm saying these words into a $3,000 camera, feeding into a $10,000 PC, wearing a $26,000 motion capture suit, which I was able to buy thanks to the sponsor of this video, Ray Shadow Legends. Oh. oh. That explains how he's doing. No, this. no, I, I figured it was either a VR headset that he'd like, that he has got like the full motion sensor thing, like for the legs and everything, but not a full mocap suit. Badger, that's fucking brilliant. Dude. That's, uh, that's awesome. It's pretty pricey though. 
hey man, he's got the money to. Zodiac. Yeah, his, yeah, his mocap yeah, suit. yeah. Badger cries into his three point one six million subscribers. If we're able to do what we do with two hundred and fifty thousand, <sighs> him having more than ten times the amount as us, trust me, dude, he's good. His, uh, his mocap he, suit costs more than my car. His mocap suit costs more than my PC. The car that I just got. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, you honestly, PC, yes, it costs more than PC. It's fucking, didn't you say like twenty six thousand dollars? Twenty six hundred. Place of twenty six thousand. Hold on, hold on. With three thousand dollar camera, feeding into a ten thousand dollar PC, wearing a twenty six thousand dollar motion cap. Twenty six thousand? I misheard. Like I said, it costs more than my car. It costs more than all of our PCs and shit combined in here, dude. Damn. I wonder how much he had to save yeah, up for that. His 20- PC was ten thousand dollars. I don't even know how he spent ten thousand dollars on a PC. What the fuck? Uh, two thirty nineties in SLI. I guess. Uh, with a, well, if he's able to get his hands on a Ryzen fifty nine fifty X, uh, also, also if he's using like Dominator Platinum RAM, dude, I could find ways to spend ten thousand dollars on a PC. And Badger, knowing him and the pro level pro elite gamer that he is, and also I was not aware that Badger was a Marine. Uh, oh. Don't kill me, Spencer. Please, please don't use your military prowess to like sneak up behind me and like snap my neck like a twig. Please don't do that. Thank you for your service. Yes, Ariato. Capture suit, which I was able to buy thanks to the. Oh, uh, actually, uh, no, I'm sorry. Badger speaks German. Dunkashin, Dunkashin. For this video, Ray Shadow Legends, the wonderful game that's not just about bumpy, mystical creatures with heavy objects, though that is one of my favorite parts. Because now it's got ninjas. You know those deadly shadow warriors that are so quick they're basically invisible? I bet one could gut me like a fish right now and I wouldn't even notice. <laughs> See what I mean? <laughs> 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 That's awesome. Blades are making me feel some type of way. And if ninjas <laughs> are your style, Raid still got you. From noble Templars to giant wizard lizards to the boniest calcium crusaders you've never heard of. There's hundreds of champions to play. That's very good time. I don't make fun of you for being made of meat. Not to mention, it's Raid's two-year <laughs> but anniversary, you could. and there's always something new. Free gifts and rewards. Bow! Events and tournaments. Bow! Brand new Doom Tower rotation. Bow! Actually, can I get one more of those? Bow! Then, get yourself a huge head start by hitting the link in the description or scanning the QR code to get yourself a Ah, I was wondering what that was doing down there. Silver, 50 gems. Hey, Badger, guess what? They're able to do it on our video, too. So, hey, there you go. If y'all are interested in Badger's deal, it's uh, right there in the video. Uh, hold on. Uh, uh, right. Crap. Right there. Right, right there. I'm pointing right at it. Free ancient Do it. All these items are waiting for you in the chest in the upper right, so be sure to hit it up, and thanks again for sponsoring this video. Back on topic with the hoopla I was just talking about. I wish I could be more specific, but this whole fucking video is hoopla, so where do I even start? This shit looks fucking useless. That's crazy. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, brother. <laughs> this is yeah, I want to be. <laughs> yeah, but, uh, If the next word's out of your mouth or not. Hoopla. That one was like a lot of... <laughs> and that kid gets fucking clocked in the head with a brick. Damn. That kid dies. <laughs> that that kid so dies. Like <laughs> oh no, Skulker's back with the voice box. <laughs> it sounds super scuffed. Yeah, there you go. That's, That's it. it. Do it. That. Oh my God, Skulker actually using his voice box for good. That's a scary thought, y'all. That is a scary fucking thought. Next thing you know, he's going to be doing crusty ass memes. Just. Oh, oh. The if he does like an Anakin killing the kids meme with that voice box. Kind of. For a stupid dipshit baby game that nobody plays anymore, it's one hell of a casual shooter. I mean, oh, it's good one of the bears and space oh, not to law. All right, so I'm playing the white class with the MG42 <coughs> precisely. Now you need to go fight that ethnically diverse group of rebels. <laughs> and I wish a wow. would right now. Uh, wish. So good. I wish a fucking Solustin would cross me, bro. I don't know, man. If some lasers, shit's exploding. You kind of talk like an idiot, but it's I like a Star it. War, bro. What's up with that? Approaching it as if everything was dumb and has been completely abandoned by EA was incredible. <laughs> 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 
just just yeeted Grogu across the stars. He's like, he's like, well, I don't need you anymore. Wee! <laughs> don't kick the goddamn baby. Kick the baby. <laughs> don't kick the goddamn baby. Kick the baby. <laughs> <laughs> my god. <laughs> yes. Oh no! No! Yes! Was this a mighty ducks? Jesus. Oh no! I want to kill that fucking bear with a four one fifty. Go! Truck? Okay, okay. There's actually a very. Uh, it's actually a pretty serious short film. Uh, it's actually de- it actually deals with a stormtrooper who is abandoned on the forest moon of Endor, and it's right after the Death Star explodes, and he has no way of contacting anyone from the you know from the Empire or the Rebellion, and he literally gets lost in the woods, and. It becomes a horror film where he's now trying to not be killed by Ewoks. That sounds kind of awesome, actually. It is. It's actually really fucking good. And then he encounters an Ewok that that's just like all of a sudden it turns around really slow and gets this really evil look on its face. It's just like, <laughs> oh my god! I never knew Ewoks could be so terrifying. <laughs> this game, that game mode right there, would pretty much be it. <laughs> it pretty much is that short film. That's awesome. Oh, GI. Yes! Oh, my God! Get that motherfucker! <laughs> what is this, Predator? It's fascinating how Battlefront 2 can be so good, yet so bad, simultaneously. Yes. Is a casual shooter to fuck around in? Awesome! Really? That's you! That's you right there, bud! It's just like I got my I got my MG my laser MG forty two and my monster energy. Yeah, look at this motherfucker! Hey, monster! We are not sponsored by you. But we could be. This man is dev- <laughs> Yeah, right there. <laughs> it's just insert insert the MG forty two just going off in his hand. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Horns to the left of me, crackers to the right here. I am shit that's fucking terrible. Like, lose your faith in humanity. Terrible. I think I'm embracing the dark side of the floor. <coughs> characters you can play from the clones to the droids to the stormtroopers to General Grievous to Captain Faz fucking whatever her Phasma. name is. Phasma. Fantastic. That kind of variety with that kind of detail. Fantastic. So many lightsabers to Look at him go. Do it to him, Kevin. Reeves, do it to him. Why you only got two arms, big man? Oh, scurry. Scurry. Holy shit. <laughs> That's, That's awesome. awesome. The bitch with the bad movies. Oh, shit. Captain Phasma. Hey, Captain Phasma. You're Captain fucking dead. Got the goose. Captain Phasma. Oh, the balancing of those characters Jesus Christ. Atrocious. Like, holy shit. Oh, oh my God. He <laughs> dumped <laughs> <laughs> like Darth Vader outright ignoring incoming fire from six different enemies simultaneously <laughs> in Tim's type tyrant. I find your lack of faith disturbing. Get his ass, fellas, get his ass. He's oh my god, anything. the number of dudes. <laughs> and he just doesn't give a fuck. Wait, 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 wait. Why does why does Darth Vader have Tim's on? That's what I said, bro. He's wearing Tim. It looks just like Tim. <laughs> it looks like it, it's got mud on his shoes. Get the work, badass. Get the work. Get the work. Get the work. <laughs> Oh Jesus! Why just the got hell fucked. Do you just make the default Star Wars Battlefront death noise. Ah! Ah! It's like momentum, the name of the game, because when the match starts, everybody's a regular ass class, like assault, heavy, officer, which is support, or specialist, which is sniper. Then it's up to the races to accumulate as many battle points as possible by killing people, playing the objective, or in general just fucking up the other team. Because the more battle points you get, the more powerful characters. That's you best select, Which not only helps you demolish the other team. 
team in combat, but it also makes it harder for them to build up battle points because they're constantly cutting them in half with a lightsaber. What the fuck? Is this allowed? What the fuck? Oh my wow. god, it's destruction. 100 HP Darth Vader going up against people that have 200 with a fucking lightsaber that two shots you just another day at the office. And with the number of heroes yeah. per team limited to a handful <clears> at a time, <throat> the whole game turns into your heroes versus their heroes determining who wins the game with everybody else's cannon fog. The plan is simple. Follow me. Oh, I accidentally hit the wrong button. My shield is gone. Obi-Wan, please. <laughs> oh, that's not good. This can't the rocket jump out of here. Five oh seconds. god, no you're not. <laughs> no you're not. When spawn as a hero, they tend to become super conservative and focus on staying alive with their super special shiny Jedi as opposed to being aggressive and actually helping their team win the fucking Shit, game. Okay, I got enough for Jedi though. Oh, max number in play again. Can we oh, just get like a little timer of like you clearly suck some off as a hero, give it to somebody else, you asshole. With the big outcome of all this being, if you've got an experienced hero player on your team, they can absolutely dominate a fucking server. I mean, pull a win yeah. out of the air like a rabbit out of a hat. Level dominant. I will show you the dark side. Boy, do I ever love getting thermal vision in a bottomless grenade launcher as a deadly lizard man. This is definitely... Good God! <laughs> Jesus, badge. I'm quite frustrated about the balance because I barely ever got to play the heroes anyway and I can still slap a Jedi shit with a normie class no matter if it's Gylo Man or a green somersault in basketball. Everybody rock it! No, no. I'm gonna kill your ass, you stupid green basketball. Dab! Fucking dab! Dab, dab on him! Dab on him! Yoda! Fuck yeah! Damn! <laughs> now it's Just totally good bitch to slap that little that green bastard. Flaws, I love the Empire, and the rebels are a ragtag <clears throat> gaggle of scumbags that deserve to be exterminated without hesitation. No cap. The Empire does not forgive. Stupid <laughs> Jedi's always talking good on Darth Vader, bro. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Big frying pan. Get your fat ass in there. I want to see it happen. Damn! Fuck shit up! You don't. Notice that I said despite its flaws, because they obviously aren't perfect, but at least they aren't the dipshit rebels. If Darth Vader and Palpatine weren't in the Empire, they wouldn't do shit. They are stupid. They're some <laughs> stupid motherfuckers. <laughs> no matter the faction I'm yeah. playing, when it comes to the four starter classes, <clears throat> I'm all about that. Heavy boy. Nothing against the other classes. Yeah. I just the experience of maxing out <laughs> See what it felt like to have maxed out purple star card. This is Brush and Badger, dude. This is the same guy that likes playing as Tachanka all the time. Plus the big tanky build in paid AT. Yeah. He likes playing as, like, the beefy boys. That's his that's his go to. That's his motif. And I'm not saying any word against him because if he's good at what he does, he good at what he do. I saw that. I saw that. You defeated Dixon Butts. <laughs> his literal name was Dixon, like Daryl Dixon and Butts. Yeah. Dicks and butts. The star cards, which are basically just little ways of augmenting your character to make them a little better, make a massive difference. Not quite using a normie versus using a Jedi type difference, but turning your minigun from a laser shot into an explosive shot that nobody, not even heroes, can block. Big difference. Yes. Fuck you, Yoda. Fuck you and your stupid. Oh my god, dude! Beep, boo, fuck the clones. Oh my god. It's like even when they try to dodge, they can't dodge because it's explosive shot. And it yeah. Red bastard. Block this shit, Lord. Block this shit, Lord. Get fucked. Uh huh. <laughs> Sorry, I had to dump the whole man. <laughs> I don't blame you, Badge. I don't blame you, Badge. spawn, which means wrist rockets on a battle droid or a bazooka on a jet trooper. <laughs> How the hell George Lucas basically converted every World War II weapon into a laser weapon, but I'm not complaining. Me neither. The house is built like a fucking airfield droid. Oh my <laughs> god. Ooh, yes, it was. Jesus. Kill, baby. What a feed. Damn. Air Jordans in chat? Oh, man. If this was a shampoo, he would be head and shoulder. I 
that's actually really good. He'd be nothing but head and shoulders. And he is. Also, uh, also Badger, you mentioned Air Jordans. Ballin', but at what cost? <laughs> I'm just gonna, I'm gonna dunk. I'm gonna do the, the lost one. Oh, Damn, smash, smash! You got a melee, yes. Damn, honey, yes. Come on, it's slam. Yeah, hero. And welcome to the jam. Be the fuck? Oh my God! That's stupid. Yeah, I've purely just been fucking <coughs> abusing wrist rockets this whole Damn. time. Racket up, battle boy. Yeah, it works. It works. This gives you even more options. Not heroes, because, huh, <laughs> Max Miller in play, Max Miller in play. But I don't let it get me down, because I'd rather play a Death Trooper than any of those Sith or Jedi assholes anyway. This guy's <laughs> as simple to you as a regular soldier, but tankier, deadlier, and blacker. Literally, he's dripped down in designer jet black. Keep the camo, bro. Check behind you. Keep the camo. <laughs> Grouse, the first trooper to ever take Balenciaga into combat. Man, yeah, fuck me. go away. <laughs> God, these Death Troopers are so outstanding. Oh, sure. like, oh, and Death shit. Troopers is like one of my favorite like types of enemies. <laughs> God Jesus. damn, I'm just rolling I'll through all these rebels. Yeah. 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 Any Christ! Oh my god, I'm just ripping Death. them off, man. Death! Scum have no counter. <laughs> Oh, my god. Oh my god, 19 player kill streak. Holy shit, Madge. Oh, he fucking broke it. Death Troopers are the best, bro. Oh, good. Okay, 22. I want to call in the new chat. Oh my god. This game is so fucking dumb. Wait a second. Don't let me go. Damn it. Oh well. Damn, as with the hundred kills, hundred, hundred five actually. Get fucked, rebels! God damn it! Why are you in first place? <laughs> no, of course you can't always play the Death Trooper because they only exist in one era of Star Wars. But the enforcer category in general is cash money. Like being a droidica in the Clone Wars. Sign me the fuck up. What? <laughs> <laughs> keep rolling, 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 rolling. That would be fun. Yeah. yeah. Story girls are badass. <laughs> More favorite designs from the prequels. Same, dude. I always love the destroyer droids. Is it, those things, like with the with the fucking shields, were deadly. I mean, the even the Jedi's ran away from them, dude. Yeah, they even had problems with them. Yeah, the ground where you belong. Yeah, droid already. Be boom, fuck flesh people. <laughs> and you can't tell me the Clone Wars isn't the best era in all of Star Wars. Like, robot slaves and clone slaves going head-to-head, -head. you Zoomers just don't get how cool this shit was at the time. Just like the simulation. Dude, is that Wade? Let's kill her. No, let's give her to Java. We do not endorse slavery under any circumstances. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> of course, Heavenly can say that! He can get away with that shit! Anyone else tries to say it? Oh hell no! But Heavenly, nah, he gets away with it. God, dude. I mean, it's just like in the fucking like, Fortnite video where he, he, you got Captain America's shield and he was a banana running out. He's like, alright, boys, Captain African America's here. It's like, Jesus Christ, Heavenly. <laughs> We're slaves, aren't we? Designed oh, to be unintelligent and just designed for warfare, right? I'm pretty fucking stupid. I'm not gonna lie, bro. I'm, I am Same, bro. a goddamn imbecile. Yep. <laughs> I'm just a dense motherfucker, dude. <laughs> Same, bro. Same. Slaves. Oh my god! Slavery. <laughs> The slavery cancels out. <laughs> <laughs> Don't think it quite works that way. As a history student, I'm sorry, but I'm going to have to throw the bullshit flag on that one. God so damn. Uses the word clanker with impunity, which is the closest we'll ever get to a swear word in this whole goddamn franchise. Oh, yeah, it's Major Lowen, or, uh, General Grievous. I don't know if you get your ass over. Get your bony ass back here, clanker. C is for clanker. D is for 
dead clanker. Ship's going down. Yo, did he say shit's going down or ship's going down? I think he said ship, but let's pretend he said shit. There's no swearing in the Star Wars universe. Yeah, true. Nobody says fuck. Yeah, what a bunch of fucking clankers in our... <laughs> <laughs> I have made it clear that I hate Ewoks. I've executed enough of these fuckers to cold blood that I should be institutionalized. Someone ought to put you in a mental hospital. Someone should put you in a box floating down the river, Grandma! Oh my god! Because they're so small that they can completely hide it. behind objective consoles while activating them. At least until Darth Vader catches you lacking and force chokes you. You cannot stop me. <laughs> Get that shit! Get that shit! I, yeah! I yeah! Yeah! Oh my god. <laughs> Let me just sneak up on this fucker and stab him. I said oh my god! god. <laughs> Yo, Skulker, if I have to animate any Ewok in this video, I'm gonna mocap you, IRL. <laughs> god. Uh, now, Skulker would be a better job with it, he would, uh. <laughs> oh, <laughs> so true. <laughs> so true. <laughs> 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 God fuck you, <laughs> you dumb motherfucker. No, ATSD, blow it up. I got this, remember me. I need damage. I'll stab it. We're doing deep stew. Oh my god. Oh my god. They did it. That's a ball one. I love the horn. What? So that's ball and I love the horn. I bet you get to just blow the horn if you want to. <laughs> I want to play this now. Yeah, I kind of do too. He's disabled. Oh, shit. Yes, we Holy got shit. They got Grievous. Fucking arrow. We did it. We won. Yes. yes. Oh my yes. god. A fucking hairy couch cushion with a spear. Kill General. <laughs> <laughs> that would be so good. Watch me hit Darth Vader right in the face. Oh, I hit him. Open that shit up, Vader. I'll fuck your ass up. Oh, Holy oh, shit. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> <laughs> so insignificant. Darth Vader, the most powerful motherfucker in the universe, crushes your windpipe. You are literally from Build a Bear. You are not worth the time of day. You're not worth the dirt under his boot. Your boy's head. <laughs> oh, yeah! Go get him! Yeah! <laughs> Oh, Darth Vader's coming. Let me run up on his gamer right now. Stab! 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 Oh, Where no. Oh, God! Oh, Shit on! Really? You. Death oh, Trooper! Oh, God! Oh, he got him! <laughs> God dang! Why? Oh, God! Oh, God! Oh, God! God, dude! Oh, really Fett. oh I damn it! Of course, leave it to the fucking Mandalorian to kill him. <laughs> yep. Christ! <laughs> Bubba Fett. I did again. Oh God, Bubba Fett! I just thought of that. Bubba Fett, the redneck version of Boba Fett, comes up. He's got the big old beer gut, and he's just like, "What's up, motherfuckers? Who's going on the NASCAR race?" I can get us some great seats. You don't mind sitting on the edge of the top of the damn stadium. Yeah, I was uh, going to name my truck the Slave One, but a lot of my... Uh, friends <laughs> in there, it was, uh, it's probably a little bit of a bad idea. You know, on account of what happened with the Confederacy and such. You what? This is the way. <laughs> this is the way right here, border. Damn. I tried to stab him with my stick, but it didn't work. Oh my god! 
could cut the Ewok footage there. This video is now at least 15% Ewok, and I'm not going to laugh or cry. The Emperor requires your extinction. Hey, shoot that short foot. All I see is a cute oh, little Ewok running across the map. First thing I hear is burn that gaggle. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you have to build a bear, bro. I want him gone. No matter if you're playing the tiniest Ooh. Ewok or the beefiest battle droid, Battlefront 2 really shines when you get a whole team giving it everything they've got on the jet. Even among all the other horse shit in this game, it truly is something special. Oh, I can do a lot of damage. <coughs> Holy shit, bro. Yeah. Probably. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah, yeah, it's gonna go down. Oh, yeah, got it. Got it. Got it. Go, 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 there you go. Oh, there's a droid that blocking it. Oh, I'm running into this middle. Oh, no, we're getting it. We're getting it. Push it. Push it now. Go, get it. Get it. You push it. Yeah. You push it. Yeah, they got it. Oh, my God. You blow the kingdom cup. Oh, my word. Victory. Yeah, we just ran up. Drive by. Even if you never managed to see teamwork on that scale, at least you'll get to see your dipshit friends cosplaying the most powerful heroes in the Star Wars universe. Heavenly electrocuting Ewoks with Mitch McConnell or choking rebels with Darth Vader was an unexpected. Mitch McConnell, I've not heard that one. That for Emperor Palpatine. My God! God, Jesus! <laughs> Before you complain about my constant bumbling and fumbling of names, give me a break. It's not my fault that Mitch McConnell is a more memorable character than most of the recent additions to Star Wars. And people only remember Ray because her name is three fucking letters. So be glad I got you Kylo Ren. Black. You mean Gylo Man? Gylo Man. Gylo Man. Gylo Man. It's Gylo Man! Oh god! This is dumber than Hamster. 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 <laughs> Yo, uh, 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 Bash on the team. That's an objective yeah. marker. Who the fuck is Bash? Should be Bosk? <laughs> Alright, so I got Bubba. I hit your vote with Bubba. Yo, Bubba. <laughs> Bubba is Bash. Somebody put her with A or the team. <laughs> This shit is good. Let's go! I'm gonna keep it. <coughs> yeah, this Bubba guy is very good. Oh my god, the dudes. The dudes. This should be good. This should be good. Yes. Yes. Do it, Joel. Oh my god. Ah, oh, rockets. Die, Wookie. Oh, I love General. Dumbass. Come here. General Egregious. Join my master, Yoda. Bobby Schmurda. <laughs> Okay, that's good. Also, uh, if I did join the game as Yoda, uh, I'd just be like, mm, fuck shit up, I'm about to. God damn it. Why is his face like Push that? Push or shit will be. Oh, God. Oh, Nick. God. <laughs> Bend over, you will. Inserting my lightsaber will... <laughs> Oh god. <laughs> and you get Oh my god, dude his face. I like that the MVP on the MVC was Matters not bruh. the size does. <laughs> Overall, I love Battlefront 2. Put it in plain English, this shit is cash money and worth your time. Oh, it may be three years old, it may have a tiny player base, it may be horribly imbalanced, but being a long <laughs> moron in the world's most casual Star Wars shooter <clears throat> is still very worth it. Maybe not full price forty bucks worth it, but if Emma Games makes it free again or it's on sale, hell, if you live in the US and you just got your $1,400 stimmy check, drop that bitch on Battlefront 2 to stick it to the government, like Skulker does anytime our Navy buddy Bees is on the call. Yeah, you seem like the type, Skulker. Yeah, you okay, Bees, why don't you go fucking violate my privacy? <laughs> Damn. <laughs> that is ammo against literally anybody in the government. Literally anyone. Why don't you go non-consensually violate my privacy? <laughs> and that's about it. Oh, man. He's right. I, I wanted to say those <clears throat> words for so long, you don't even fucking understand. I'm only saying that because this video took me a month and a half. I've never ever Jesus. put this much work into a video, and I just made the following. I can kind of tell there was a video. lot of fucking animation and like, well, mocap. Well, uh, again, like it, this is him getting used to the mocap yeah, suit. Yeah. He, he may have had it for a little while, but you know, a full month and a half. Yeah, he of also editing used and doing it shit. a lot in this video. <laughs> oh, dude, yeah. All the an individual animations for everyone and, like, all their lines and stuff. Like, I, I, 
I've worked with motion capture before, and we're actually working on a motion capture rig for filming stuff, me and Jacob are. Hopefully we'll be able to execute it now that we've got the space for it a little bit, but... Dude, I don't know. Like, it, it's tough, dude. It's it's a lot of work. And Badger, you know, he's as talented as an editor and as like, awesome as a personality as I've seen, but dude... You know, a month and a half for him, that's a shit ton of work. Yeah. It, it, anyway, back to this. Paid off in my opinion. <clears throat> oh, big time, dude. This video is top notch. Like, all that, all videos Badger puts out. Badger is quality over quantity. You see, we release videos daily because, you know, we react to stuff based on recommendations and suggestions. And plus, reactions are not that hard of a video type to do. We can release a video, we release a video literally every day. Badger. And the quality that he puts into these videos, holy shit, dude. Well, different level of stuff. Now... It'd be next to impossible to release one of those every day. Oh, and you know, unless you had, like, 15, like, people slaving away for, like, 15-hour work days, like, straight. Well, even you yourself as the star of the videos, like, it would be nearly <clears throat> impossible. Like, your whole day, every day would be taken up by work. Like It would be. Video it would be, day. even with all the other people helping you. Yeah. That's just like, you know, yeah, I have no cans. room for a life. You know, it's just like I have Cam, I have Wolf, I have you, and I have Oxy, and that makes things a lot easier in terms of releasing stuff. But at the same time, you know, there's also other projects I'm working on with Jacob and everything that requires a lot of attention and requires a lot of stuff <clears throat> dedicated with that. And, you know, it can grind on especially since we're in the middle of a fucking move, guys. This is probably, like, you're going to notice here probably in the next week or two, we're going to be in a different place. And it's going to be weird, especially for me, because it's where, it's where this whole thing started. Also, like how you paused the video with, like, Badger having expression and, like, a hand motion. He's reaching over, like, he's reaching over and cupping some balls. And just like, ooh. <laughs> like, what the fuck? Badger, if you watch this, just know, he thought of that, not me. It was him. He's the one that put the balls in your hand. <laughs> not me. Like. So who's, to say, uh, who's to say he's not reaching not over and feeling some cups, nice vagine? I'm not saying that he cups balls. Who's just... to say he's not over there feeling a nice titty? I don't know. Jesus, dude. I'm not assuming your sexual preference, Badger. That's your privacy. I'm just being... I'm just trying to cover all my bases. Anyway, sorry. Let's get back to this. Let's finish this off. It was going to be my peak of, like, blood, sweat, and tears. And nope, here comes Star Wars. It means the world to me that you watched my video and enabled me to be this creative. Because let's face it, without you guys, I would not be able to afford that cool-ass motion capture <coughs> suit and play any character that I ever want to ever. I never thought I'd wake up and be like, well... Fuck it, I guess I'm motion capturing Jabba the Hutt today. So once again, I'd like to thank you so very much for watching, and be sure to tune in next time when we make toast with Gylo Man's lightsaber. Fuck. <laughs> Greatest Star Wars character to ever grace the franchise is the one, the only, Silicious B. Crumb. That guy is an intergalactic treasure. And if you disagree, fuck you. <laughs> Your opinion is wrong. <clears throat> Playable here in Battlefront 3. Or I'm going to be slightly upset. I need to emote this incredible laugh of Ray's dead corpse. <laughs> oh, gosh. Okay. Uh, I need to know who Salicious B. Crumb is. Let's see. Salicious B. Crumb. There he is. Oh, that motherfucker! Oh, okay. Yeah, I did not know that was that guy's name. <laughs> oh, gosh, dude. The puppet the puppet work, dude. Look, look at this motherfucker. Look at him. Look at him. Look at him! He is a creepy little gremlin bastard. And you know what? Badger's right. He probably is the best character on all of Star Wars. Because he <laughs> represents the fan base. <laughs> joking. I'm joking. <laughs> Star Wars fans, I am one of you. Blast Trust me. Shots when fired. I say that about him, I'm saying that about myself, too. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I would like to see him as a playable character. You know, him coming back uh, after being embarrassed in Return of the Jedi and literally, like, having a having, like, a uh, having, like, a jetpack and stuff, like, fucking Boba Fett. I think it should just be the Gremlin and the main <clears throat> character, like, with some, like, fucking every game ever. 
So he should have his own like little mech suit he's driving around. Oh, that's right. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> so he like fucking walks around and blows people up. God. So I'm leaving a big fat like on this video and I'm also going to be uh, leaving a uh, leaving a uh, comment. comment down here. It's up to y'all to find it. Y'all mo y'all motherfuckers need to find it. Uh, also, like the video because YouTube is uh, taking away our likes. Uh, we actually uh, wrote them about it on Twitter, and they said that this is a problem that we are experiencing with multiple channels. Please, uh, you know, please be patient while we resolve this issue. And I'm sitting here, and I'm watching our likes disappear on our videos, and I'm just like, I wonder if this is happening to anyone else. Because if this is happening to us, and we're losing, I don't know, a few hundred likes off of our videos... What does this mean for Badger? Does this 75,000 likes that we're seeing on his video, is that the accurate count? Or is he actually missing, I don't know, an extra 50,000, which takes more money away from Badger? I mean, what? I mean, is that the case? Because I know YouTube was experimenting with the, you know, uh, disable the dislike thing, but at the same time, it's like, does that mean that the likes are affected too? Did YouTube somehow F up their system yet again? I don't know, maybe. We'll just have to see. But right now, I'm just like, this is, this is absolute nonsense. But <clears throat> I've been dealing with it now over the last week, and it is literally about to drive me crazy because on top of moving, on top of having to deal with like so, you know a lot of pressure from a lot of places, I've got this added on as well, and I'm just like, well, fuck my life. <clears throat> but anyway, when it rains, it pours, so to speak. Huh? So when it rains, it pours, so to speak. Yeah, when it rains, it pours. When it pours, it monsoons, and when it monsoons, the whole goddamn world gets flooded. And then it's the, and it's a, a biblical proportions. Not even Noah's Ark can save this shit. Uh, anyway, <clears throat> ladies and gentlemen, I hope that you all have enjoyed this. If you want to see the original video from Russian Badger, the link to the original video is in the description. If you want to see more Badger and be a part of his more than three million subs, which, by the way, again, Badger, congrats on congrats on passing three million subs again. Uh, also, uh, if you uh, want to see more, more Russian Badger, click his name in the title of the video. Take you directly to his channel. I mean, what more can you say, guys? What more can you say? This is Russian. You know, this is the Russian Badger. He has been a con constant source of entertainment and hilarity for us over the last few years. And I am glad we have checked his channel out. And every time he releases a video, we get bombarded. I'm talking like at least what? How many requests did we see? Like three or four. In the last day or so since this has been out. And yeah, so good God. Anyway, I think that's going to do it, everyone. So I guess until then, I'm Nate. I am Nick. We'll see you then, everyone. Peace out.